Okay, cool. <laughs> Kenapa orang Indonesia ke Matahon? Do you know why is Zermatt so popular and so attractive to tourists? If you are expats in Switzerland and other group of tourists who plan to come to Switzerland for some days, you should visit Zermatt and watch this video till the end because you will know the reasons and I'm going to tell you about how to go to Zermatt, what activities you can do there and of course the best time to visit. So stay tuned and I'll be right back after this one. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, play it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain. Hey guys, back to my YouTube channel, and if this is your first time on my channel, then I invite you to hit the subscribe button now. Alright, Zermatt is one of the remarkable towns in the canton of Valle, and this canton is located in the southwestern part of Switzerland and has a population of about 6,000. At the altitude of 1,620 meters above sea level, Zermatt has become the third most visited towns in Switzerland after the city of Geneva and Zurich. And statistically speaking, there are more than 2 million tourists who visit Zermatt every year. And the majority of the inhabitants speak German, French, also Italian, and few inhabitants speak Romans. And in regard to the economic source, most residents in Zermatt historically lived out of their agricultural production. But since the mid of 19th century, the economic source has been very much, I would say now, very much dependent on the tourism. So you guys can imagine what had happened to the local economy when the COVID-19 pandemic was here. And by the way, do you know why is Zerma so popular and so attractive to tourists? Well, I leave it up to you to find out the answer through watching this video. And now, let me tell you about how to go to Zermatt. So, let's get started. So, let's say you are expats living in Geneva, then you can take a train from Cornava. Or, if you are tourist landing at Cointrin, Geneva's airport, then you can take a train from Geneva's airport to Zermatt. Public transportation in Switzerland is very well integrated, so it's quite easy to travel around Switzerland despite the fare is not quite cheap. <laughs> anyway, in most cases, you get what you pay for, right? As I'm living in Geneva, so I took a very early morning train from Cornavan train station to Zermatt. Kailash, a friend of mine and I, agreed to catch up at the train station before boarding. It took us about 3 hours and 45 minutes. Cool. Ooh, let's go! We are changing the train uh, to go to Zermatt. So motivated and the weather is lovely. The weather is great. Yes. Our drones they already made. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fly our drones. Small yeah. brother, big brother. <laughs> you will see guys. Stay tuned. Oh man, where? Zero Gare Terminus, le Matterhorn Gotthardbahn vous prie de bien vouloir descendre et vous dit au revoir. Okay, we are requested to leave this train, this wagon, otherwise the conductor will kick our ass out. <laughs> otherwise back to this Back our way, exactly my way. <laughs> voilà, hey, we are arriving um, in German now. Yes. So, uh, where? We are, we are in German. Uh, uh, that is the Zermatt station, train station. As soon as you get out of the train station in Zermatt and walk into this town, you will find that no one uses motorbikes, cars that consume petrol with some exception of course, like police cars, ambulance. All public transport in this town is using e-transport or electric transport, whether it's bus, taxi, and so on. So far, Zermatt is the only free car town in Switzerland.
And for one-way ticket without yearly subscription card is about 78 Swiss francs. However, there's a day pass ticket that you guys can buy online at a Swiss train company's website. Either way, you can buy a day pass ticket at your local commune, say you live in Geneva. One thing that you should bear in mind is the Swiss train timetable is 99% accurate. So make sure you arrive earlier, I would say 10 to 15 minutes earlier at the identified uh, platform. Otherwise, you will miss your train even if you just in a second late. So next is uh, what activities that you can do when visiting Zermatt. Well, there are plenty of activities that you can do uh, and I believe that you guys have made some itineraries and also some lists to do uh, beforehand. The easy and free activity is hiking. So guys, this is the way to go after the mountain. Not to the Zermatt mountain, but we are in the, we are in Zermatt anyway area, the mountain of Zermatt. But this is this the way to go up to the other side of this uh, Zermatt mountain, and it's very different from what you guys see when I went to the summit of uh, Rinjani. However, if hiking is not possible, then you can take a couple car or a mountain train to your final stop and enjoy the wonderfully beautiful views on the way up. In summer, you can go hiking to discover many interesting spots or rent a mountain bike if you are an adventurous tourist to explore the nature through biking trek. But in our case, we just hike to our destination, which is River Z. On the way up, we sometimes, you know, followed the uh, walking tracks and we also tried our own. Hiking on, then descending the mountain, feeling the fresh air, enjoying the nature as much as we can during our stroll was really tremendously great. And on the way up, I come across the wooden houses and I kinda like their designs, you know, they are unique because um, these houses put the rounded fat stones in between wooden poles. I wondered why they put stones in between the poles. But then I did my research and found that those stones are exercised to prevent animals from entering the houses. And we were so excited to see Matterhorn as we were approaching Rivalsi and Kailash told me about the respective mountain. Hi guys, we're having a few snacks here uh, surrounded by beautiful Swiss Alps mountains. This is Matterhorn, the summit is at 4,600 and something. Uh, it's actually one of the hardest summit to climb, uh, technically. because it's. Uh... And I also saw some mountain bikers going down the hill. The mountain train that dropped and fetched visitors cable car station, animals, and so on. It was really a challenging walk, but at the same time, it was again, really rewarding as we arrived at the final stop that we aimed for. After having our break, we continued on hiking and we finally reached River Z. This is one of the very popular lakes in Zermatt. There were so many visitors who like to capture the best moment around this lake. So you can see how beautiful the reflection of King of Mountain, which is Matrohon on the surface of this lake. Climbers spend their time here by discovering the beautiful alpine flora in this area. Kenapa orang Indonesia ke Matterhorn? 
And not far from this lake, as you are facing the Matterhorn, you guys can turn left where you will see the glacier that is just within walking distance from your standing point. The glacier and mountain views will definitely mesmerize you. did it take us to Riversea? Hiking from Zerma train station to Riversea, it took us about four and five hours with some stopover as we enjoyed the views, had our picnic, took some videos or flew our drones. So it was about 9 to 10 hours uh, going up and down the mountain in total. So now when is the best time to visit Zermatt? Zermatt is an exceptional town in the canton of Valley. So you are welcome to visit at any time as long as no travel restriction. However, if you want to see the lake with the Matterhorn's reflection, the glacier more closely like us, then the best time to visit will be in summer. And then if you like to see Zermatt while skiing or snowboarding, then the best time is winter from December to March or April, depending on the climate. So guys, now you know how to go to Zermatt from Geneva, the activities that you can do, and also the best time to visit. So I hope that you like this video. And if so, please don't hesitate to hit the like button. Also subscribe and of course uh, you can activate the bell icon so that you will get the notification once a new video is uploaded. Comments on this video and share this video are appreciated. Uh, by the way, I was uh, questioning you at the beginning of this video uh, about why is Zerma so popular and so attractive to tourists? And here is the answer. Why Zermatt is so popular and so attractive to tourists is because Zermatt is a town that is surrounded by beautiful mountains and has many great ski resorts where people can come to this town every year regardless of the season. Also, uh, the popularity of Zermatt was in fact thanks to the four British climbers and one French and two Zermatt local uh, mountain guides who succeeded in their first as an of uh, the Matterhorn in the 1865. They all have made Zermatt so popular now. However, a tragic accident happened to the three British climbers. One of them was the British royal family members and one French mountain guide who fell and died on their descent. Okay, I think this is it for now. I'm Didi Le Giovanni. See you again next time. Ciao. You have a uh, uh, cafe cacaos. Uh, this is good. This one, I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm vlogging. Yeah, we are vlogging. I'm vlogging. Yes. So here is the mother. No, it's not. Uh, it's not visible yet. Uh, it's but here, it's here. Let me show there you. you go. There. Yeah, you can see the Matterhorn. Okay, okay. Let me show you Matterhorn first.